Hey herpers, herpetologists, and everyone else. So this is a pretty exciting video. If any of you have been following, you'll know that my girlfriend and I have recently hatched out three baby rough green snakes from a wild caught mother. So here we are. Um, I didn't really want to take a video of them uh, right when I set them up because you know, if they don't do good, you know, people will be wondering, what happened to those snakes? So, they uh, they finally have had their first meals. Um, as as far as I know, they may have eaten a cricket or two here or there. Um, but, let's see. So, we got one right there. You see the little tiny body going in the vines. And then if we go up here... We got this bold fellow under the basking light, just soaking up that UVB and that heat. He's getting a little bit curious of the camera. Come on over here, buddy. He's doing this slight little head bob, uh, like sideways. And that's a, a thing they do in the wild because of their camouflage with them being so green, naturally, uh, a lot of the times they'll reside in, you know, shrubs and bushes and small trees and vines. So all green stuff. So they blend in quite well, especially at this size. You'd probably never see them. You could probably walk within a few feet and you'd not even know it. So um, they do this little head bob thing side to side. I don't know what that'd be called. Head shake? I don't know. But basically, they do it to blend in with the vines blowing in the wind and the leaves. So they kind of, it's a little, uh, I wouldn't say defense mechanism, but it, it keeps them alive. Because they, uh, they fool a lot of predators because of how much they can imitate a branch or leaf. Irvine. Let's try and get as close as I can to this guy. I'd really like to get a close up of his head. Oh, and he's doing the thing. Stay focused, you. But man, what a beautiful tiny snake that will one day grow into a large green snake. Which, there's one last little shot of him doing the little head shake thing. Let's see if I can go over here. And <clears throat> some of you may also remember I had some adults. Unfortunately, two of them rolled on me. So I'm left with one. Um, but this one is, is hanging on and is doing quite well at this point. This snake has a uh, hmm let me see if I can get some better lighting on it she's pretty skittish so maybe not but okay so if we look up here at the top corner you can see an adult gosh this is not working out well But if you look through the screen there, you can kind of see her Get a little closer. I don't think it'll focus, but anyways, you can see she's probably a foot and a half long, maybe a little longer. So her body and head is over there and her tail is coming all the way down here into the live plants. So she's fairly good size, but... I don't know where the third one went. Oh, he's down there in the vines. You can see part of his body. If you look pretty much right at the center of the screen, you can see kind of a brownish. That is the body of the third snake. So there's you know, one, two, and then three. If you look down lower underneath the one that's basking, you can't really see them. 
part of his body's red, part of it's kind of dark green in the kind of like shade from the leaf. But anyways, say bye little baby rough green. You gotta eat for me, please. Beautiful snake though. Anyways, they've all had their first shed and uh, that's the update of the rough greens. So that's where we're at. I have them on paper towels. I uh, got a little water dish in there, UVB heat. Um, I'm going to get a live pothos plant because I think they'll be a little more comfortable. And it was some good advice from a good mentor of mine. So, yeah, so that's that. I feed them uh, hornworms is what they ate today, little baby hornworms. And uh, I put one-third crickets in there. And I gut load the crickets with uh, collard greens or turnip greens. So that's what I'm doing. I hope it works. So hope you all enjoyed this video. You all please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment. And uh, hit that bell notification if you want to see more videos. And uh, sorry, I'm looking at my tiger rat crawling around up there. Dirty glass, but I'll clean it soon. Anyways, you all have a good one. Signing out. Nate's Nature Notes.